Good morning, everyone. It is time for Tuesday morning prayer and devotion. God bless each of you as you join with me this morning to lift up the needs that have been submitted to this team and to uh, join together also in the Word to receive what God has to speak into our spirits this morning. We have many things to pray about, and today I will just include the updates in our requests as we go along. Uh, Pastor Mickey Lewis is having his long-awaited open-heart surgery this morning to repair or replace a torn mitral valve. His family asked that we continue to pray for him today as this takes place, and he is currently at the hospital and being prepped for surgery. Others who have heart issues include Michelle Strain's mother, who had an irregularity found on heart monitor. Wally Nyland, I believe this is... Uh, Terry Nelson, Johnny's wife, uh, father, uh, is also uh, needing a miracle this morning uh, due to his heart situation and now uh, other things going on as well as his condition has been deteriorating. Janie Parrott's nephew, Blaine, Kenny Prenzel, Cheryl Lachance, Sister Patty Arnold, Jimmy Warren, and Mike Sappington all need healing of heart conditions as well. Michelle Walker requests prayer for Car uh, Carrie and baby Arlie. As I mentioned to you yesterday, uh, this is at 21 weeks gestation, and she has been trying to go into pre premature labor. The baby's survival is questionable at this stage, but the doctor is optimistic and says at 22 weeks she would be able to give a steroid shot to advance the baby's lungs and also uh, put Carrie on a mag bag to help further develop baby's brain. So we're believing for a continued miracle in that situation. Those who have stomach issues, Michael Parrott, Heather Spence, Regina Marlin's granddaughter Aubrey, Olivia, and Kristen's neighbor Natalie. We just learned that Brother Vernon Purser and Sister Geraldine Purser, longtime pastors at Auburn, Missouri, are battling COVID. They're currently extremely weak and Need lots of prayer this morning. Others who have lung and respiratory problems include LaVon, Michael and Grover Straysner, Kendra Ortiz, and Robbie Northrup. Uh, Marsha's mother-in-law, Vivian, is battling Parkinson's disease. We're adding her to our list in that regard, along with my dad, my mother-in-law, Russ, and Tim Workman. Karen Stroop's father has Alzheimer's disease. Chuck Laurie has been on hospice care for quite some time. Mara Sullivan battles lupus and autoimmune cerebritis. Shirley Perkins has kidney issues and other medical problems. Jim Connor is awaiting a kidney transplant. Sarah Stroop, Marty DeLott, Riley March, and Carmen's sister Tracy all need healing of MS. Those with back problems include Carolyn Rogers, Tammy Lawson, Bob O, Becky Wilson, Milena Cummins, Terry Nelson, Cindy Page, Britt Moore, Charles Davis, Brianna Williams, Lori Gravel, Michael Parrott, and Sister Pam's daughter, Jenny, who has osteoporosis in the spine and hips. Those with diabetes include Cindy and Lloyd Page, Tim Workman, myself, Emily Stanley, J.R. Johnson, Becca and her mother, Christina, Kristen's neighbor, Natalie, Jimmy Warren, Cheryl LaChance, Brother Pulliam, Charlie Davis, Evie, and... Um, Christian Carr, also Titus Dornbach, and Rose Brown. Rose Brown also is needing healing of arthritis. We're praying for June Coffer with arthritic pain. Tasha Ray needing healing of her knee. Renee needing healing of her hips and knees and restored mobility. We're praying for Melena, Beth, and Marcia, who all need healing of migraine headaches. Cheryl Lachance's family member and Sue Helton Morse's brother, have ongoing problems due to head injuries. Children who need our prayers today, let's continue to remember Arlo. He has been very nauseous and throwing up a lot, and his parents have not been able to sleep much the past few days as they are concerned about that. We're praying they'll find the cause uh, of the nausea and that his recovery will continue. Brantley and Elsie have heart issues. Abram Page was born with GNA01 disorder. Abel Ray suffers from PKU syndrome. Tano Lopez has spina bifida. And we have four children we're praying for battling childhood cancer. Lorelei, Jenna, and Tucker. And Myra, Myra is on her last few months of 
treatment now. Others who are battling cancer, Tony Nelson, uh, not doing the best, receiving blood pretty much every time he has a treatment now, and his immune system is pretty much depleted. Steve Wilkerson is facing cancer surgery in the near future. Joy Dunlap Burke has esophageal cancer. Dwayne Lewis, Alicia Piero, Joey Etheridge, Carmen's neighbor Eddie, Alice Elizabeth, all needing healing of cancer. Monica Harmon has inoperable lung cancer. Philip Randall, Kathy Burks, Edie Percival, all needing uh, healing of cancer. Edie is uh, in stage four of ovarian cancer. We're praying for Michelle Strain, sister Cindy, Stephanie Thompson, Michael Boland, Kathy Benson, Dennis Phelps, Sylvia Lairmore, Kay, Claire, Sherry, Marsha Moore's friends, grandparents, Ari Bowers, Diane Escher, Kathy Williamson, Linda Fox, Hugh's wife, Del Bishop, Christy Smith, a lady here in Puxico with stage four breast cancer, Melinda Bauer with stomach cancer, and Scott Lucia. All these were believing for their miracle today. Other health needs we're praying for. Chris Ramey, we were updated this morning that uh, they were finally able to get someone who could draw her blood at home. This enabled them to get the lab work that she needed to have her medications for diabetes approved. We're still praying for healing of her knees so that she can walk again. Also, Nicole, Regina Bishop, J.R. Johnson, Wilder Morrison, Judy's daughter Jennifer and Judy's sister Mary, Shirley Garner, Tom Shannon, Chloe Isaac, Mike and Tony Hodge, Devin Huff, Frank Day, Phyllis Robinette, Gary Nelson, Les and Patrice Wells, John Dalter, Meredith, Jim Johnson, and Jimmy Holden are all in need of healing. We're praying for a continued recovery for Ashley Johnson, Leslie Sutton, Eric Williams, Brother Huey, Carmen's cousins Kelly and Shannon, Tina's mother, and Sheila Sappington. Kristen's Uncle Monty has both physical and spiritual needs that we continue to pray about. Ron Asher and many others are in nursing homes and other long-term care facilities. They need strength and encouragement today. In our other spiritual and family needs, let's remember Matt and Michaela, Mark and Caitlin, Grace's best friend's family and Grace's circle of friends, Dee Dee Sealert's biological father and his family, uh, Jenny Perkins' sister Lisa, our Mingo RCF residents and Job Corps students, brother and sister Poyam's granddaughters, Morgan, Alyssa, Haley, Savannah, Sophie, and Sydney. We're praying for Jennifer and Brenda's family, Josiah, Judy and Mike's family, Pam Poyam's children, the Sappingtons, Alicia, Charles Gossett, Alan, Cheryl's family member, J.R. Johnson, Regina Marlin's family, Beulah's family, Rose Brown's granddaughter and her husband and kids, Debbie Biddick's daughters and their families, Maury and his children, Art Chandler, Carrie Jones and family, the Rush family, Karen Sampson and family, Johnny Nelson's family, Annette and Dave, Marcia and Britt's family, Connie Graham, who needs a financial miracle, Baby G's adoption process, we're praying for those who need deliverance from addictions and for those who are uh, trying to care for them um, and to help them through uh, this difficulty. Our North American missionaries and global missionaries need constant prayer. We're praying especially all through the month of June for the Perry family in Osage Beach and the Booker family in Union, Missouri. Both of those churches experiencing great revival that we want to see continue. The Tomyevs and Pattersons in Ukraine and so many other missionaries and humanitarian aid workers um, helping refugees in uh, those war-torn areas. And let's believe for an end uh, to the war there. Let's continue praying for our Missouri Youth on Missions team as they are preparing to return uh, to the United States and uh, praying protection for them. Also for Kristen and other workers at the uh, Wisconsin Youth Camp this week. Of course, the students there believing for God's will to be accomplished in their lives through uh, the meetings this week. Uh, Terry Nelson's trip has been postponed until July the 8th, and she's now going to California instead of Nevada due to developments in other situations in the family. So let's uh, continue to pray for Terry and her entire family today. Uh, Pam's granddaughter, Sophie, and her classmates need travel mercies as they are uh, traveling in California. 
this week. So let's be sure to remember them in our prayers today as well. Thank you so much for joining me for prayer this morning. And um, I'm so thankful um, just to have this support in prayer each and every day. What a wonderful team that we have um, with us each weekday morning. I welcome you this morning, Judy, Mom and Dad, Johnny, good to see you this morning, Marsha and Sherman. Thank God for our prayer team, and we're believing God for great and mighty things uh, through this prayer time this morning. I want to read to you this morning, uh, reading in the Word of the Lord in Hebrews chapter 6. Hebrews chapter 6, we're going to read verse 17 uh, down through probably verse 19. Wherein God, willing more abundantly to show unto the heirs of promise the immutability of his counsel, confirmed it by an oath, that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us, which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which entereth into that within the veil. There's a lot in that scripture this morning, and we'll try to stay focused on just one point here. What is it that we should do when our heart is overwhelmed and we don't know how to handle difficult situations or decisions? Well, I believe we should do what we're doing right now, what we do each weekday morning and what you are doing uh, at other times throughout your day. Our world tells us that we should follow our heart, and yet throughout the Word of God we read that our heart can and will lead us astray. Our heart responds emotionally to our current circumstances without understanding there is a bigger plan at work. So when we feel lost, confused, or even that Jesus has forgotten where we are, we should realize he has given us access to his presence through prayer. We have access to that hope that the Bible describes as an anchor for the soul. Prayer anchors our hearts to Jesus, especially when we are going through the storm. There will be times when life seems to toss us back and forth like the waves of the sea. Questions swirl around us. Uh, what friends should I allow in my life? What role does Jesus desire for me to fulfill within his kingdom? Uh, what uh, type of job or career should I um, be focusing on? When you don't know what to do about these or any other situations, remember that God is waiting for you with the answers in prayer. And so we don't come to this time each morning uh, just out of habit or routine, but this is our anchor. This is the anchor for our soul, the hope that we have in God and the hope that we have in our connection to him through prayer this morning. So this morning, let's anchor ourselves firmly to this hope and understanding that it's impossible for God to lie and whatever that he promises, he is able to perform it today. Lord Jesus, I thank you for the understanding of your word today. Knowing, Lord, that you are here with us, right now I can feel your presence in this room. And I pray that every person praying with me today would just feel the strength of this hope that we have in you today. Let them be encouraged, God, as we pray. In the name of Jesus, we believe, Lord, for miracles, signs, and wonders. Hallelujah. We believe, God, that you're able to do anything. You are the mighty God. There is nothing impossible with you. There is nothing that is too difficult for you. You have the answer today. You are the answer for our every need, and we depend upon you this morning. We pray again, Lord, your will be done. Your kingdom come today, and your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. We believe today for Pastor Lewis as he's going in this morning for open heart surgery, as they're preparing him for surgery right now. We believe God for your angel to be there with him. We believe, God, for your presence to minister, God, and for the uh, surgeons to have guidance this morning by your presence. In the name of Jesus, steady their hand. Give them direction and wisdom today as they carry out this complicated surgery. 
We pray, God, for others who have heart issues today, that you would reach down and touch each one of them, that this would be the day that someone would report their miracle, that their life situation would change drastically because of your intervention. We pray for Carrie and baby Arlie. This situation, Lord, this uh, child needs to remain in the womb for at least another week. We pray, God, that you would help Carrie right now, that you would help the doctors who are treating her and baby Arlie. In Jesus' name, we pray for those with stomach issues. We pray for those who are battling COVID today. Brother and sister Persia are needing strength for recovery from COVID. We pray, God, against the weakness that they're experiencing. Give them strength today that they could recover. We pray for the others who have lung problems today of different types that you administer healing to them. We lift up Vivian today and my dad and Tim Workman my mother-in-law, and also Russ today, each of these battling Parkinson's. We believe for their healing this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for Karen's father today as he struggles with Alzheimer's disease, Chuck Lurie on hospice care, Mara Sullivan with lupus and autoimmune cerebritis. You are her healer today. We pray for those with kidney issues, uh, Jim Connor and Shirley Perkins. Uh, we lift up Marty DeLott and Sarah Stroop. Riley March and Carmen's sister Tracy, believing for healing of MS. We pray, God, for those with back issues today, those suffering with diabetes. Lord, you are our healer. Hallelujah. We pray for Rose today, God, for healing of arthritis in addition to uh, healing of diabetes. We pray for June Coffer's arthritic pain to go away today. We pray for Tasha, Lord, for her need to receive healing today for Renee's hips and knees uh, to receive strength. We pray for Chris Ramey, Lord, for healing of her knees today in Jesus' name. We lift up Beth Wheatley, Marsha Moore, Melana Cummins, believing for healing of migraines. We pray for Sue's brother and, and Cheryl's family member, Lord, that the issues caused by these head injuries uh, would be resolved. We pray for each child who is in need of healing today. Arlo, Brantley and Elsie, Abram and Abel, Tano, these who are battling cancer, Myra and Lorelei, Jenna and Tucker, touch them today, God, and give them strength for their healing. We pray for these adults who are battling cancer. You see Tony's situation. We believe, God, that you're able to do anything. We pray for his immune system to be restored. We pray, God, that his body would produce a the blood that he needs in Jesus' name. We pray for Steve Wilkerson as he's facing cancer surgery. Joy Dunlap-Burke today battling esophageal cancer. And all these others this morning who continue their battle with cancer. We believe for Dwayne, Alicia, Joey, Eddie, Alice, Monica, Philip, Kathy, and Edie. We pray for Michelle's sister, Cindy. For Stephanie Thompson and Michael Bolin. Kathy Benson, Dennis Phelps, Sylvia Laramore, Kay, Claire, Sherry, Marcia's friends, grandparents, Ari, uh, Diane, and Kathy Williamson, Linda Fox, Hugh's wife, Del Bishop, Christy Smith, Belinda Bauer, Scott Lucia, and the lady here in our community with stage four breast cancer. We believe for healing for all these others who have health needs today. We lift up Nicole, J.R., Regina, Wilda, we pray for Judy's daughter Jennifer and Judy's sister Mary. We pray for Tom Shannon and Shirley Garner, Mike and Tony Hodge and Chloe Isaac, Frank Day and Devin Huff, Phyllis Robinette and Gary Nelson, John Belter, Lesson Patrice Wells and Meredith, Jimmy Holden and Jim Johnson. Lord, you are well able. We believe and stand up on your word this morning. With your stripes we are healed. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We believe today for Ashley Johnson, for Leslie Sutton, Eric Williams, Brother Huey, Tina's mother, Sheila, and Carmen's cousins, Kelly and Shannon. Lord, you're the God that brought them to this point. You spared their lives, and now we believe, God, that they're going to be completely restored in Jesus' name. We believe for Kristen's Uncle Monty, for Ron Asher, for others who are in long-term care today, for these who have family needs and spiritual needs this morning. We lift up Dee Dee's biological father and his family, Matt and Michaela and Mark and Caitlin. We pray for Jenny's sister, Lisa, for Grace's friends, for our Mingo RCF residents and our Job Corps students and alumni. 
We pray for Brother and Sister Pulliam's granddaughters, for Jennifer and Brenda's family, for Judy and Mike's family, for the Sappington family, for Sister Pam's children, for Charles Gossett. We pray for Cheryl's family member, for Alicia and Alan, Regina's family, J.R. Johnson, Beulah's family, Debbie's daughters and their families. We pray for Rose Brown's granddaughter and her husband and children, Maury and his children. You see his financial situation today, his employment situation. Move, Lord, on his behalf in Jesus' name. We pray for Art Chandler and for the Rush family, for Carrie Jones and her family, for Karen Sampson and her family, for Johnny Nelson's family today. We lift up Annette and Dave. We pray for Baby G's adoption situation. We lift up Marcia's family and Connie Graham's need for a financial miracle. Those who are suffering from addictions, we believe for deliverance today. We pray for Dawson and for William and for others who are struggling today. We pray, God, for Pam Davies that you would give her strength, Lord, to take care of her husband. We lift up our North American missionaries and their families, our global missionaries and their families. Open doors today. Protect them, Lord, as they are doing your work. We pray for the volunteers uh, alongside Kristen who are ministering at the Wisconsin Youth Camp this week. We pray for our Missouri Youth on Missions team that will soon be returning from Spain. Protect them, Lord, as they fly back home and then travel back to their uh, own residences. We pray for Terry and, Lord, for her family and what they're going through right now. We pray, God, that you would just keep your hand upon her as she's preparing to travel soon to be with her family. We pray for Sophie and her classmates that you would keep your hand upon them during their travels this week. We thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing in our lives. Direct us this day. Lead us this day, God. Hallelujah. Help us to feel after you, to know your will for each of us this morning as we go through this day. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you today. Thank you for praying with me once again. Tomorrow we'll be joining together at the middle of the week, um, and we need much prayer support for all of these things that we're praying about. So I'll welcome you back tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. Let's continue to be faithful in prayer and trust in the Lord with all of our hearts. God bless you in Jesus' name.